hoping somebody can put some sense into zero hour contracts because personally I can see none. But zero hour contracts is just another manifestation of how globalisation globalization serves the companies, not the people that work for them. It's slave labour basically. So, um, as, as you can see, Vin Vince has arrived. Um, so I think without further ado, we, sh we should start the main meeting. How are people on zero hour contracts supposed to pay into a pension provide for their future? And if it is only 3% on the zero hours, why not just get rid then? Why not just get rid? So, so many people in this hall uh, fully understand zero hours contracts are a very bad deal and people need protecting from abuse and the opportunity to do other things. And when you look in the job lists, there's a lot of zero contractors and there's not many full-time jobs now. And I think we need the security back in this country. Thank you. Since you're not prepared to scrap minimum uh, zero-hour contracts altogether, presumably then you must see some benefits in it. What recourse do I have to legal action against somebody who's deliberately bullying me in the workplace, who could offer me a permanent contract, but chooses not to? Your experiences uh, don't reflect what is now coming into the law. That If you are an employee, you are able to take a, make a formal request and demand a proper answer. My question is, which mortgage companies will give these people on zero contracts a mortgage? Now, I don't think you need zero hours contracts. Zero hours contracts is a tautology. You're signing up to nothing. There are other strategies you could use, but it's an excuse for employers not to plan. And I think you should be looking again at it and saying, we don't need zero hours contracts. He was clearly taken by a lot of the human stories. This is very different from a lot of the political meetings that I've been to because there were so many human stories and so many people who were obviously here because they'd been really affected by it. The employers are getting away with murder, effectively. They shouldn't be able to just put people on call at no cost to themselves. There should be a real cost to being on call, real cost to cancelling, real cost to them for using people in this way. As human beings, we are becoming increasingly denigrated by the corporatocracy in the workplace. The notion that we would then be forced into a situation where we had no power at all to control the destiny of our working hours or indeed have any guaranteed income from given employers at all. It's fundamentally inhumane. But the feeling in this room this evening is that we should just scrap these contracts completely.